Keanu Reeves is set to take on a significant role in both producing and starring in a live-action film and anime series for Netflix, adapting the Berserker comic as part of Boom Studios' first-look deal with the streaming giant. This collaboration marks a positive development, considering Boom Studios' track record in producing content akin to independent comics. The on-screen universe of Berserker is expanding, and Reeves, with his central involvement in both adaptations, is expected to elevate the project. Although the quality of Netflix's live action varies, the inclusion of Reeves as a producer suggests the potential for a higher budget and better execution. The expansion builds upon the original 12-episode limited series, an idea that Reeves had been nurturing for years. However, there is a word of caution regarding the anime adaptation as details about the animation studio or artistic direction are unspecified. It is crucial to maintain consistency with the original comic's art style to satisfy existing fans and ensure a seamless transition to the anime adaptation on Netflix. Announced during the Keanu Reeves Berserker The Immortal Saga Continues panel at San Diego Comic-Con International, it was revealed that production IG is producing the previously teased Berserker animated series, Additionally, the panel disclosed plans for two seasons. It will be an anime spin-off series, which will follow Netflix's feature film starring Keanu Reeves. In March 2021, Netflix had already announced the acquisition of rights to the original comic book series from Boom Studios, describing the story as a brutally epic saga following an immortal warrior's 80,000-year fight through the ages. The protagonist, known only as B, is half-mortal and half-god cursed and compelled to violence, even at the sacrifice of his sanity. The streaming giant has announced that the anime will not only adapt the existing story, but also delve into new aspects of the Berserker universe, promising a deeper exploration of the narrative. Keanu Reeves will reprise his role and lend his voice to the character in the animated series. Since its highly acclaimed debut in 2021, Keanu Reeves' Berserker has significantly reshaped the realm of fantasy action comics. The narrative revolves around the enigmatic character known as B, original name Unut, a quasi-self-insert by Reeves, who carves his path through history by leaving a trail of bloodshed. The series, co-written by Reeves and Matt Kint and illustrated by Ron Garney, has garnered a dedicated fan base eager for more adventures featuring their beloved yet stoic and violently intense hero. In anticipation of the upcoming Netflix adaptation, Keanu Reeves has collaborated with renowned artist Steve Scorse, known for his work on Amazing Spider-Man and We Stand on Guard, and colorist Dave Stewart to create a special one-shot prequel titled Berserker Poetry of Madness. The first glimpses of this prequel are nothing short of captivating. The original series, illustrated by Marvel artist Ron Garney with colors by Bill Crabtree, delves into the story of B, an ancient warrior endowed with godlike powers. Living through the ages, B becomes part of a covert government operation, driven by a desperate desire to unravel the mysteries of his abilities and find a way to end his tortured existence. Berserker masterfully combines elements of fantasy, contemporary action, and profound humanism, reflecting Reeves' own journey as an action star. While a sequel series is likely in the works, Reeves is already treating fans to a tale set in the distant past, where B serves as the personal bodyguard to the King of Atlantis. The conclusion of Keanu Reeves' Berserker is undeniably intense, echoing the thematic groundwork laid throughout the series. B, entangled with the U.S. government, sought mortality to find peace in death. In exchange for this elusive gift, he became a government operative, carrying out killings and subjecting himself to Caldwell's experimental procedures. However, the plan backfired when Caldwell seized B's powers, unleashing a horde of B clones upon the world. Berserker No. 12, penned by Keanu Reeves, Matt Kent, Ron Garney, Clem Robbins, and Bill Crabtree, brings a violent close to the narrative, leaving numerous narrative threads dangling, ripe for exploration in a Berserker sequel. Diana, B's handler, inherits his powers and experiences an accelerated pregnancy, giving birth to twins. Following the demise of mortal B in a battle against Kiever and the military, the twins venture into the world with a mission to propagate their lineage. This sets the stage for potential conflicts in a sequel, involving military pursuits, 
the portrayal of their antagonistic clan, and the question of whether Diana can dissuade them from attempting world domination. The original Bee is reborn on an alien world, communicating telepathically with Diana about his delayed return. A potential sequel could depict his involvement in a war with a new civilization, aiming to find a way back to Earth, an unexpected twist that aligns with Reeves' vision for the Berserker movie. Amidst the chaos, a lone Bee clone, Franken Bee, escapes military control, offering Diana a potential interim ally. However, the military, led by Kiever, could track him down, realizing his divergence from the other clones they sought to eliminate. This creates an opportunity for the U.S. government to control an impressionable bee, especially given that bees' offspring are causing havoc. Although the military raised the site after Diana's brutal confrontation with Caldwell, his cult discovers him seemingly regenerating at a church, this sets the stage for his return, and the potential for a massacre involving Bee, his offspring, Diana, and the Franken-Bee clone, a conflict that could shape the sequel with widespread casualties. For an early glimpse, you can explore the first look from the publisher, Boom. In the latest pages of Berserker Poetry of Madness, we witness Bee emerging as an established guardian of Atlantis, the legendary city submerged beneath the waves. Scors channels his inner Mobius to bring forth a specific strain of historical fantasy. While the original Berserker series delved into the impassive battler's past, revealing the traumatic narrative of his youth as a child soldier, this prequel unfolds in a time predating recorded history and promises a Lovecraftian nightmare. According to a statement from Boom Studios, the narrative will center around a clandestine cult conspiring against King Azeus of Atlantis, Contrary to the earlier series, it seems that B's reliance on the notion that might makes right will not be the savior in this tale. The initial Berserker series, despite its intricate plot of betrayal and sorrow, portrayed B as a tragic victim of circumstance. The seemingly invincible monster's 80,000-year-long tragic life appeared largely beyond his control or agency, primarily due to his overwhelming battle rage that afflicted him since childhood. Referring to him as Poseidon's pet demon in this preview connects the story to Greek mythology, particularly Plato's dialogues, which provide one of the few historical depictions of Atlantis. The juxtaposition of an immortal warrior within a culture rooted in a philosophy of reason likely holds intentional significance. Throughout Berserker, an underlying theme is the exploration of the human soul within art, even in the face of grim and grotesque elements. For those eager for more hyper-violent adventures from Keanu Reeves, Berserker Poetry of Madness will be available for purchase on July 26, wherever comic books are sold. These new projects represent an expansion on the original 12-episode limited series, which originated from an idea Reeves had been developing for several years. The upcoming live-action film adaptation of Berserker, featuring Keanu Reeves in the lead role, is scheduled for an initial release followed by the subsequent launch of an anime series. This strategic release plan aims to broaden the narrative scope of the Berserker universe, delving into different facets of the storyline. Notably, Reeves will not only take on his role in the film, but will also lend his voice to the character in the anime series. The production team includes Boom Studios' Ross Ritchie and Stephen Christie, collaborating with Reeves and company films Stephen Hamill. Adam Yolen will serve as an executive producer for Boom Studios, benefiting from their exclusive first-look deal with Netflix for both live-action and animated television series. Since its debut on March 3, Berserker has achieved considerable success for Boom Studios, with the first issue surpassing sales of 615,000 copies. This remarkable accomplishment marks it as the highest-selling debut in nearly three decades. Keanu Reeves, a stalwart in the action genre for over 30 years, continues to be a highly bankable star in Hollywood. Notably, he has recently concluded filming for Matrix 4, reprising his iconic role as Neo, set to be released later this year. Additionally, Reeves is gearing up for the production of John Wick 4, scheduled to commence this spring. So what are your thoughts on the action-packed teaser? Are you a fan of the Berserker comic series? Share your excitement in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more updates, and ring the notification bell to stay in the loop. See you in the next video. 
Thanks for watching.